Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona Q, and we're about to go down to the fourth floor on the group date cafe. So let's jump right into it and continue on. So it seems like it's still part of a dungeon. We've come pretty far in. I wonder how far this goes. Ray looks a little concerned. Hey, uh, Ray, are you all right? Um, wait a second, the presence of shadows just got stronger. I'm sensing something powerful further down. Please we might be, be approaching the deepest part of the labyrinth. Please be careful, everyone. Okay, so we are just gonna continue on and there is a door here, so let's jump right through it and see what we have to fight. Uh, looks like there is a door boss here and it's just these rare items, so let's just fight these guys and let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's shiny. It, it is definitely shiny there, uh, Ray. Hopefully we can kill it. Alright, that actually hurts. Can you stop that? Can you... God, oh my god. Come on, guys. Come on. You can hit it. There it is. There we go. No? One more? One more, come on. Come on, Teddy. Come on. Come, one more attack. Come on, guys. You can do it. There we go. All right, we got it. All right, let's see what that... I think we're supposed to fight that thing. So let's check out what we got. Treasure piece. All right. Let's check out... Yeah. Uh, God, what was that thing? It kept moving around so much I couldn't get a single hit in. For opponents like that, you should first bind their agility. Do this and their attacks will be guaranteed. It will prevent them from escaping as well. You can prevent the enemy from both evading and escaping. That would have been quite an effective countermeasure to the shadow we just fought. Yeah. It would be possible for your personas to learn such skills. Huh. You should use agility binds on hard to hit enemies. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? Huh, I see. So what did you mean by that? Weren't you listening at all? Alright, so just another little Daddy, thing. Q interaction between the characters there and we're just gonna heal up by saving our MP and I'm gonna progress through the dungeon so I'll see you guys soon all right guys so welcome back and it seems like we found a another suspicious corner so let's check it out uh, there's no bag on the table it's filled with sweets you reach towards it wait a moment don't you think it's risky for the leader to be the first to eat something so strange yeah it's so dangerous that's why I'm gonna taste it first you better not be saying that just because you want to eat one. <sighs> Don't, man. You'll just end up with an upset stomach. Shinjiro's stomach growled. Ugh. I guess everyone's hungry. That's all right. Uh, those who don't get lost don't eat. Huh? What? Those who don't get lost don't eat? Come on, that sentence structure doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> okay, so we're going to eat this, right? Let's eat! Oh, this is good. I'm on a diet right now, but I guess a little bit won't hurt, right? <laughs> Those who don't eat won't never lose weight. You're using so many words that they stopped meaning anything. Arf! Uh, those were snacks for dogs as well. Koromaro is very satisfied. Everyone's health was restored. Awesome. There seems to be some sweets left. There's still some few left. What do you guys say? I'll pass if I eat any more, so long diet. Let's finish him off. We've had enough. We've had enough. Let's just, yeah. I guess it's better to eat in moderation, huh? Okay, lesson learned. Let's go. Oh, you decided to return back to your investigation. All right, cool. So another keel point. Pretty awesome. And I'll see you guys at the next suspicious corner. All right, so uh, during the investigation of the fourth floor of the group date cafe we're only about 20 percent of the way through and there is some kind of cutscene. so inside the group date cafe labyrinth you know, oh i mean that makes yeah that's pretty true because in actuality we're trying to find my destined partner indeed but it's just for me oh <laughs> That's true. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? I want to remember. Yeah, 
the basics of love. <laughs> basil with loaves? That sounds amazing. Cool, like like speed dating. I see. Then let's begin. Whoa! Those participating must line up. What the fuck? You're forcing us into this? Oh man. Relax, relax. I'm not up for this. I'm leaving this up to you, Junpei. <laughs> There'd be no problem if you do, since they call me the love hunter. Uh, oh yeah, okay. I mean, I guess you have Chidori, but... <laughs> what? Come on, you're the ladies' man. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys don't know, uh, they had... We're at, they're at the beach, and they had a contest to see how many girls they could get. And I won the Persona 3 character... Junpei got second, and Akihiko got lost. Bringing up the open- opening the wounds. Shinji's contracted. Oh yeah? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Uh, it appears that you have been coerced into taking part of a group date cafe. Very funny. Oh, whoa, what is this? It's actually a game. Whoa, it's actually happening. Before you know it, you've been coerced into participating into the group date. My, we've got such cute girls today that I can't wait to get started. I'm actually excited that this is part of the game. I agree. Chie is both those. Indeed. Indeed, that is uh, Yuki. Oh, you mean me? Indeed. Oh, Naoto, my favorite. Finally, Ray Chan's cuteness overload makes me want to hold her tight. Just oodles of joy. Just oodles. Noodles. <laughs> Oodles. Oh, so close, Ray Chan. But I think you mean noodles. Very close. Come on, Akiko san. Did you forget already? I told you keeping the conversation ball rolling is crucial. There you go. I'm taking some pointers. I'm right. I'm taking notes. You want to see me keep the conversation ball rolling? Oh, look at him. He's shaking. He's so mad. The fascinating thing about protein is that it's He's talking about protein. <laughs> Akihiko. <laughs> the muscle brain. Oh, because she's flat. I get it. <laughs> Is it? I have no idea. They have those? Those exist? A League of Legends tournament? Categories. Okay. Read what? It's a piece of stationery I found in front of the velvet room. What? What the fuck? Why did you show that before? Why would you not show this before? Oh god. <laughs> he read just a sentence and he doesn't want to. It's not that bad. Indeed, pick a category. What is it? What is it? Stuff you okay. I love curry. It's the tastiest drink. Drink? I don't think it's a drink. In any case, I guess that's fine. Got this one in the bag at least. 
Easy. I got this. Indeed. Ooh, Curry does sound good. He's just gonna put <laughs> protein. What are you gonna put in it? Uh oh. Let's see it. Let's do it. Is it an actual mini game? Oh uh, no. All right, carrots are delicious in curry. I don't know, but that sounds good. I thought he was gonna say that too. Uh oh. Huh? Isn't that the same thing? What do you say? I I think it's okay. It's a valid answer. I believe so. I'm with you, Akihiko. So, all right. I'll treat you to some curry next time. I'll add ten egg whites for you too. Hey, my boy Akihiko. Okay, let's keep going. You're next, Shinjiro son. A one and a And what is it? Onions. Perfect. Shit, it's my turn. What will you say? Ah, ah, meat, seafood, mushrooms, meat. Uh, that was gonna be my answer. Get wrecked, Chie. Potatoes, that's a good one. Okay. Meat gum is. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's Chie. What is? Ah, oh, she has to read it. <laughs> sea grapes. <laughs> Looks like she lost. All right, as a penalty for losing the game, Chie must now read what's written on the piece of stationery. Now let's listen to the beautiful poem, probably written by Margaret herself. That is very true. Well, here goes. Darkness and a rose. I am a rose. A single rose that blossoms in the moor. A mournful rose whose white petals are matted with blood blossoming deep crimson. If you wish to kiss me, do so. I'll pierce you with my million thorns. I'll drink the blood you've shed and flower wildly in the darkness. Until my last petal burns. Roses, white roses, blood black roses. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh man, that wasn't so bad. It was kind of sad. Not bad. I mean, it wasn't the worst. I agree. Looks like it was a... Looks like it was a success, boys. Yakushima. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, the group day has ended as awkwardly as it started. Alright, so we're back to the investigation. But just so you guys know... That poem was written by the other girl that's not that's in the velvet room. I don't remember. She has like a hat. I know I'm drawing a blank. If this was the if I was in the group day, I'd probably have to recite that poem. But she 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 wears blue and she's not Margaret Theo or uh or Elizabeth, but she's the other one that's with them and she's the one her hobby is writing poems. So that's who wrote that poem. But that's it for this episode guys, and I'll see you guys next time.